I need to go and pick up some things from the DIY shop. I've bought them online on Friday and I've been waiting for the order to come in stock. And I have finally just received the text message to say, your order is ready because I've had to order quite a few things. I thought while I'm there, I'm also waiting on my, on another order with the pet shop <laughs> for dog food, but that text hasn't come through yet. So I need to buy a little bag of dog food just to get me by. was as easy as pie. I got everything I needed. The painting, spare roller heads, spare roller heads, <laughs> raw plugs and screws. Oh look at that! All sorted. Impulse purchase was this dog bed, dog mat. They are big beds anyway. I'll show you it once I get it home but they are the most comfortable beds for the dogs. They absolutely love them. I already have two, but they're just they're very easy to wash. They're thickish, but very easy to wash and dry super fast. So I have, you never see them on the videos. They're always hidden away because you don't want to see dog beds on the floor. <laughs> but I have one down in the utility and I have one behind the living room door in the living room and the dogs love them. So I've just got another one. So we've got a backup and I've got a little mini bag of their food. So unfortunately, I deleted the first clip where I had just measured the mirror to make sure that it fit in this space perfectly and I didn't want the top part of the mirror to reach the picture rail. So it was important that I was to take it 20 centimetres down and then just drill two little pilot holes and then with the edit of this video you don't see but I go in with the 8mm drill bit and drill the larger holes to put the raw plugs in and fit the screws so that the mirror is fitted safely on the wall and it won't fall off. Fingers crossed. Then if you can't find a hammer, a good old pair of pliers will do just a good a job to tap the raw plugs into the wall and secure them. Then I just use my little an electric screwdriver to pop the screws into the wall and hang the mirror. I needed to dust off the picture rails and the floor needed vacuuming too because there was a lot of dust from where I had been drilling. But now to finally hang the mirror in this space. Let me know what you think of how this looks. I absolutely love it. I just adore the light that this brings in because my kitchen is a very bright space and this mirror seems to bounce a little bit of light into what can be a bit of a dark corner in my house so I'm thrilled a bit with how this turns out. Now here's where the fun begins. The actual cleaning and styling of the console table. I will show you at the end of the video how this console table ends up looking. I decided not to put the lamp on there simply because I feel like the lamps that I've got are a little bit too tall for the space. And like I've just said, this mirror brings in a lot more light into this little dark corner. So I didn't want to block it too much. And I am really happy with how it turned out. So stay tuned to the end to see how I styled this console table. And it really does look beautiful. Now I'm going to pop a little bit of paint onto the breast walls because there was some filling done where the fireplace had been moved and I felt like it just needed to be touched up. Mm -hmm. 
look how thick that paint is it's amazing quality this paint and i can't stress enough how important it is to just spend that little bit extra on your paint because you get better coverage you can wash it very very easily i mean i can take a scrubbing brush to my paint and it won't budge which is perfect i have three dogs so i have to be able to wash the walls because they walk past and splash water everywhere if they've been in the garden i popped a coat of paint onto the walls and as you can see painting isn't one of my favorite things to do but once it's done i feel better that I've actually done it. Now it's time to wash those brushes and roller so that I can use them next time. And one of my great hacks is to pop a carrier bag over your roller tray and you don't need to wash that because that can be an effort. Now I'm going to roll the rug out and just let the video roll because this actually gets quite funny. You can see the determination where I really don't want to back down. I am so in love with this rug, but I can't open it out to get a good look at it because the table's in the way. I've got nowhere to put it and it's so heavy to move it by myself, but I am desperate to get this rug down and the table on it and just see what it looks like. I'm so in love with it. I am absolutely gutted because I love to just get things done, especially when I'm feeling as energized and motivated as I am today, but I just cannot lift that table on my own and I've got no way of getting it onto the rug because I know that oak's being treated with an oil and I don't want to leave any marks on the rug at all. I know I'm walking around on it with my trainers on, but my trainers are not dirty. I'll show you. They're clean. <laughs> They're not dirty, but I just can't move it myself. And I would love nothing more than to just have it done and make it all look lovely, but I'm going to have to wait because I'm going to need Lee's help to move the table. In fact, I think it's going to take me, Lee and Lee, to move the table onto the rug. I absolutely hate that I've now got to sit and wait because there is nothing at all more that I can do. I've put two coats on the breast wall to cover up where I'd patched up like some cracks because they've been replastered last year. And sometimes when you get replastered and done, the heat in the house or just because it's new plastic can form little cracks. So I fill them all in. I put the paint on them and I actually can't do anything now until the table's moved in the dining room. I'm debating whether to put another radiator cover on that radiator or just change the radiator out. I'll show you. So this radiator is just an ugly off-white radiator as you can see. But this mirror and column will be going, not mirror, column and light, lamp will be going and I'm thinking either a new white radiator or a tall dark radiator very similar I was thinking of this style where it's still a nice hot radiator I mean it's cold because the central heating's not on but they just look nicer don't they than the plain radiator so I could have that up the wall here and then you know that frees that whole wall up I think I'm going to take this mirror down because the tv is going back on the wall here and with having this mirror here which you've just seen me hang i really have no need for this mirror now so this will go and i'll probably just put some nice pictures on the wall there i'm not sure what style yet or i might keep that mirror and take this mirror down and put a nice piece of art there i seen the most beautiful painting i'll include a little picture here for you to see it but it's so expensive it's 300 pounds and it's just a canvas but surely i could create something like that with some tester paint samples i could make something like that i know that people do it using polyfiller or filler 
I've got lots of filler. Rather than spending £300, I'm really tempted to give it a go myself and just see if I can do it. We're just at the cemetery. We've gone to put fresh flowers on my mum and dad's grave. And at Christmas time during Vlogmas, you may remember I made the pots. They've lasted so well. I'll include a little clip now for you to see how they've weathered. God, they've lasted so well. I mean, the acorns have gone a little bit weathered. But everything else looks nice. Pine cones, not acorns. I call them. <laughs> Pine cones. Sorry. <laughs> And I put the little metal pots behind the headstone ready for when, you know, we put fresh flowers on and somebody's taken them. So we struggled to get the flowers on. I did have one spear that was left at the back of the grave, but the two that I bought last year or the year before have gone. We also need to remember to bring a four pinter of water so we can just leave it there. You expect to come back and find these things still there, but they're not, and it's quite sad, really. And we've visited quite a few graves this morning, and there is dog muck all over the graveyard. Like, I don't understand. Like, I wouldn't dare let my dogs roam freely around the cemetery and not clean up after them. And there is dog poo everywhere, isn't there? Yeah. Look at the little feathers. Definitely a sign, isn't it? If, if there's just two feathers, if we see any more, it's not necessarily a sign, but how nice is that? Well I know, and they were together on the floor as well. Two white feathers. Oh. Does anybody else feel that way when they find white feathers? That it's a visit from our loved ones. It was lovely that on the anniversaries we turned up and found those two white feathers. It was so lovely. And we've also got, well, our Denny got these. They are, are the Chinese sky lanterns so we're gonna let these off tonight and um, one for my mum and one for my dad and they are biodegradable made from flame retardant paper bamboo frame and solid fuel cells so they're environmentally safe to use which is lovely so we're gonna wait until it goes a little bit dark tonight write a little message on each one one for my mum and one for my dad and let it go off up into the sky so it's been a busy few days hasn't it looking back over the vlog and editing i'm like my gosh i got so much done i wanted to try and use all of the things that i already have and own and i really do need your help when it comes to that lamp on the console table i've put a few things there and i'm quite settled with how it looks now but you know you can switch and change things out as you find little bits i think more than anything i would love to find a couple of small bud vases for some little flowers like gypsy grass and stuff like that to pop in i think that would look nice on the console table but everything is looking so lovely and i can't wait to share it with you lee and lee put the rug underneath the table well lee and lee lifted the table and i put the rug underneath the table and it's looking so lovely i can't wait for you to see the finished look of how it's looking now and it just it feels a lot more cohesive and settled and exactly how i wanted the room to look it looks like it used to look if the truth be known but something's happened and i know my most loyal subscribers and if you're not one of my lo mo most mo <laughs> where do my words go but i know my subscribers that have been with me from day one will be here like lorraine wells has been with me from day one and i know that you will be watching up to here and honestly it fills me with so much joy to know that you are all here and i can't thank you enough but something amazing has happened and I'm going to include this next little clip for you to see. For all of my subscribers that left a comment on Sunday's video saying, come on, Lou, come and do the podcast. We started off a little bit rusty, but honestly, I have never belly laughed so hard when I've been creating a video. And it did take Lou about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to warm up, but I got some absolutely amazing outtakes for the intro for the podcast we are naming ourselves the chatty too because all we do is chat and it was lou who came up with the name we've gone about so many different names and before we go official with the chatty too i would love to know if you've got any suggestions for what we could call ourselves because it's going to be a podcast of fun where you can tune in and feel like you're here with us we really want you to feel like you're with us we will speak about everything from motherhood, menopause, life, what brings us joy, what we're getting up to, or it, 
in a nutshell, it's just me and Louise having a laugh and you're going to come and have a laugh with us. That's what it's, it's all about. The podcast is all about happiness and finding joy even in our most difficult times with regards to the menopause. But it's not just going to be about menopause. So I'm going to include this very, very short clip. It has to be very, very short because I've taken it from the introduction to our podcast. Just a very small clip for you to see what you can expect by tuning in. I will leave all of our social media handles in the description box down below. That's our Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and that's about it up to now. And I say TikTok because you just never know who's watching TikTok. We don't have a demographic at the moment. It's just fun, and hopefully you get to laugh along with us and enjoy a little bit of escapism by watching our videos. But I think this side of things with the podcast and getting to do it with one of my best friends makes me so happy to be able to do it and i hope that you'd enjoy the next few clips <laughs> no no it's getting my nerves hi what <laughs> hello everyone welcome to our brand new podcast with me tony and me louise where we will share no <laughs> But the majority of the time it's going to be laughs. It, sure, is. it is. <laughs> if, even if you're laughing at us, you know. We want you to enjoy the 40 minutes or 45 minutes. You can remember to press stop <laughs> at the end. <laughs> We are chatterboxes, so it might go on for a while. But I have just cried laughing because I was like, I can't use exactly the same clips that, <laughs> that I've used for the introduction to the podcast. But, ah, oh, honestly, did we have fun <laughs> while we were creating it. And I had to strike while the iron was hot. I've literally just cried laughing. I belly laugh every time I watch it. It's going to be hard trying to edit these podcasts because I think you can see it did take Lou 20 minutes to warm up and what I done was I wrote some little things down like little key things that we were going to speak about and what the podcast was going to be about but more than anything I knew it was going to overwhelm her so I just done like little snippets like an introduction to you and what people can expect by coming on the podcast and it's very different for me because I've had five years of sitting and talking to a camera and I didn't want Lou to feel overwhelmed. I wanted her to feel comfortable and I knew as soon as she relaxed a little bit, she would be fine with it. But she was like, why do we keep feeling like there's someone there? Because obviously there's a camera set up and then there's two lights because it was, it was the night time when we filmed the introduction to the podcast. But we're going to set uh, one day aside when we're both off work to be able to create an episode for a weekly upload because honestly it was so much fun i really hope you'd enjoyed having a little look at those clips thank you so much for your lovely gentle encouragement to get lou to do the podcast with me so i'm her guest she's my guest and we're doing it together and it's just going to be a lovely weekly upload for you to enjoy anyway that is definitely enough chatting from me it's now time to show you my lovely dining room and I am so happy with it. It's not anything extra special. My dining table is extra special and I'm so in love with it. I feel like it just adds a little bit of rustic farmhouse. I've kept the bits of black so that there's some different textures, but I absolutely love how this space has turned out. I can't tell you how happy I am. The radiator is going to be a work in progress. This lamp and column also won't be staying. I just love everything about this dining set. And the reason why I decided to go with this dining set was because I'd added little pieces of wood into the kitchen and loved the effect so much. So I thought, why not bring a little bit of rustic modern farmhouse into my dining room and I adore it. I really do. This mirror also won't be staying because I feel like this is very modern glam. Whereas this is very 
farmhouse modern so I don't really want to keep the two together I also don't want two mirrors but rather than waiting I thought I would show you this is the three pooches fast asleep but this is the bed that I talked about earlier on in the vlog from the pet shop the dogs absolutely love it they are so easy to wash and dry and extra comfortable for them and then how I styled my console table was just very minimal I got this little bud vase pop some flowers in they're the flowers out of the utility I haven't bought those new I just thought the stem wouldn't miss a couple of flowers for me to pop in but ideally I'd like something white and yellow for spring but I just oh, I love this spot so much I really do and I love the minimal look also so this is my new dining room I decided to go with the orchid in the middle of the table and move my larger orchid to this corner of the kitchen and I think it looks lovely there it's nice this just makes my heart scream joy I do have the light fitting up in the loft which was originally here the black and crystal one I may have that rehung. I'm yet to decide but I just love this space so much and I love how the living room is flowing a lot better with the dining room since we've moved the sofa nothing much has changed in here apart from the walls have all had a lick of paint and we moved the fireplace into here just to make it feel a little more cozy but I do love it when I stand back in the front room and that is now my view I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this little video and I didn't ramble too much and I will see you all in my next video.